What's up, YouTube? It's your main man, DJ Knight here, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip on how to get kicks installed on your computer, as well as kind of going through some of the motions to get everything situated so that way your kicks can do exactly what you need it. First things first, go to ripidgalactic.com forward slash kicks and you will be presented with this page. It gives you kind of a step by step list. First thing you do is download and install voice attack. Uh, download install VLC player if you want to have the music. Uh, personally, I don't do music in mine, but if you wanted to, that's completely up to you. Uh, if you do, you can actually add a for YouTube playlist compatibility option. That'll you can you can download the playlist parser, the Lua file, those sorts of things. Personally, I don't do any of that. Uh, download Kicks 4 from the link above, which should should already be done by now, and you can extract the Kicks 4 into the Voice Attack Installation Location forward slash Sounds folder, and the directory structure should be as shown. If you wanted to have VLC, you could have that done, but the kicker is open v Voice Attack and click Import Profile from the Profile dropdown. Once you've done that, import the Ripley Galactic Kicks 4 Profile.vap file. And then map the keys in Elite Dangerous Options screen and fly. Now this is where a lot of people seem to have a few issues. So I've kind of set it up so you can have a little bit of an understanding on how to go about doing this. So I've already done a, a reasonable amount of the things, but I figured to make a quick video that would help you to understand how to do that. So once you're in Elite Dangerous, go to your options, go to your controls, and you're halfway there. So the kicker is, you'll see over here we've got a section. So this says mode switches. Luckily, this is built just like the Elite Dangerous menu. So if we come down the mode switches, you'll see that over on the left hand side, you've got your one, your two, uh, your one for your target panel, your two for your comms panel. And if you'll see, you already have those primarily programmed by default. So you don't have to worry about those specific commands in Elite Dangerous. Now I've already added a couple of these. So let's go up to a section that I don't, I'm not completely sure I've done yet. So let's scroll up to miscellaneous. Should be right above this, which makes life easy. So let's see what we got. We got uh, that landing gear situated. So let's scroll down since we already know that it comes down a little further. We've got the numpad options. Which one is that? That is the decreased scanner range. So let's see if they got the increased sensor zoom in here. Okay, so this is a secondary option that we have inside of kicks so let's go ahead and select this decreased scan range and then so the next thing we've got to do is uh now that we've decreased or actually I, I did just say okay i did exactly what the increase said next we got the decrease center zoom so increase scan range zooming there you go. So that's the cool part about it. That really, all you have to do is go inside of here, select the thing that you're trying to do, and then speak the command into kicks. It'll do it for you. So if we're wanting to balance power distribution, it's already set to the down arrow, so we don't need to do that. Is there a reset HMD orientation? Yes, there is. So we can go in here and say, reset HMD. Orientating HMD. Done and done. So that's how you go through, and essentially you can do that with every one of the commands that you'll see here in kicks so if we want to go up to cooling and do the, the silent running we could scroll up a little bit we already got that set it's already on toggle and the deploy heatsink is already programmed so that really that's what you want to do i'm lucky enough that they actually used a lot of the things that they already had with kicks 3. so that's making it a little bit easier when it comes to changing any of my layouts so firing primary okay so this actually don't have this one there we go Fire primary. Firing. Fire primary. Firing primary. Oh, maybe not. Oh no. Ah, so it actually had it. Fire primary. Firing primary. Hmm. Fire secondary. Firing secondary weapon. And now we can see where we're in a situation where it's not exactly working how we want to, but the cool part is we know how to get it in here because it's right there so this one we need our pound button oh goodness okay so we'll go back and set silent running silent running silent running done and done what i'm pretty sure i know how to make a pound symbol 
Now that's a dollar symbol. Ignore my stupidity. <laughs> All right, so let's get back in here since we know secondary fire is that, which would be the pound button. Uh, we've got... I'm actually surprised that it didn't automatically put in pound. Weird, but meh. There we go. So we got primary fire, we got secondary fire. Now that's really what all you want to do. You can go through and double check here. I'm going to continue finishing this here, but you have an idea of what you need to do to go and install your kicks profile to your Elite Dangerous. Hope this works out for you, and I'll see you in the skies. This is DJ Knight signing out. See you guys later.